Hello, my name is Jack O'Brien, I'm part of the RapidX team, and in today's video we're going to take you through some of Tricensis test automation capabilities within SAP Cloud ALM. So before we jump into the demo, let's just set the scene of where Tricensis test automation fits into our digital transformation suite. So within Cloud ALM, there is test preparation and test management capability, but there is also Tricensis test automation. So assuming in our project now that the build phase is complete and that the features are now at to be tested, okay? And that's where you'd want your testers to then test the requirements and the features that have been built. And that's where Tricentis test automations come into play and really help our testers with the testing efforts. So why would you want to use test automation? So if we look at this screen here on the left would be a typical tester work list for manual testing. So as you can see, it's a very involved process. They have to set up the test environment. They have to execute individual test steps and then record against those test steps. Okay, so then they'd also have to report issues to developers, etc. So it's quite an involved process. We're asking a lot of testers there. If we look to the right, we can see that with Tricentis test automation, that process is much more streamlined. Okay, so they simply receive a test automation script to execute. They go into Cloud AOM, click execute. They can go grab a coffee, come back, and that test will have been performed with the results given to them. So then they can automatically move them onto a developer if they need to create a defect, or they can set it as passed. So again, it's a much easier process, saving a lot of time for our testers. Okay, so let's jump into the demo. So this is Tricentis test automation within Cloud ALM. Okay, so you launch the client and this will be your engineer's view. And one of the reasons I wanted to show this today was one that was because of all the reusable assets that are available within Tricentis test automation. It's not as complex as, for example, CBTA is. You can simply drag and drop elements that have already been scripted in part of previous scripts into a new script. So that testing effort is much more minimal. Okay, so as you can see here, we're dragging elements into the script. We can change data that's been put in and it's a much easier way of editing those scripts. So we're gonna go ahead and execute that now and we're gonna go back into uh, Cloud ALM and execute a test case that's been assigned to us. Okay, so from a test perspective, this is all they have to do. They have to come in, click execute and start the new test case rule. So now they can go grab that coffee and this is gonna run in the background. They don't have to be sat at the screen. They'll come back and the results of this test will be displayed to the test of themselves. So whilst this is running in the background, I just wanna talk about some of the high level benefits of actually using test automation. So the first one is that we've just spoke about. From a tester perspective, it's much easier for them and much more palatable for them if they know they just have to run a test automation script. They're not having to set up test data. They're not having to understand exactly what's being asked in the test case, reading through lots of information. This is simply gonna run it for them. So the first is you're gonna have a much better adoption rate amongst testers using test automation. The second would be is the ability to do regression testing through test automation. So often we find as part of SAP projects and testing, tests often take place in a single process step or a single process, but with test automation, even if just one step has been changed in that process, you can test the entire process end to end, okay? So you're making sure that one change hasn't impacted many other elements of the system. You're coming back and you're seeing a whole view of the process and that can be SAP and non-SAP. So you're getting a much wider test coverage as part of the test automation suite. The third benefit and possibly the most important is how much more efficient this is, okay? So we're not asking for loads of time off the testers and often the business to perform those tests. This is scripted end to end more efficiently with no mistakes. So you're removing the element of human error as well, because essentially the script's gonna run from A to B and do that for them. So you're not relying on knowledge. It's gonna be much more efficient. And in the end, that's gonna save you business time and money. So as you can see here, the script's running in the background. It's quick, it's efficient. It's doing exactly what's been asked of it. And again, the, the tester literally comes back and that report will be shown. So this is the view that the tester would come back to. As we can see that this uh, test run has been successful. So we can see, great, we can open an execution log to see the actual data that was created to see if that needs to be passed into a no script. So from an audibility perspective, it's much more consistent. Again, you're not relying on the testers to document their test in a consistent way. It's all done for you through Tricensis test automation. So finally, I just wanna re reiterate some of the key takeaways from what we've just seen. So why would we wanna use test automation? The cost savings, the efficiencies we spoke about, the wider test coverage that's now available. So again, you can test the whole process, even if one test step has been changed as part of the test automation script. And generally the results will be more reliable. It's reducing that human error as part of the process. So this has been a quick whistle-stop tour of Tricensis test automation in SAP Cloud ALM. Thank you for watching.